I greet you all trainers in the Dika Technical and welcome you to this presentation which will at least set a piece for how we can access CDAC uh, contents on their website. For the new trainers, you agree that uh, the training took place and we still have more trainees or trainers being employed and since we are not going to conduct uh, vigorous training for CDAC just like uh, it was done in October last year it is for that reason I would wish that uh, the new trainers who have been recruited will find in this presentation of a lot of importance if you have joined us and you have never handled any CDAC uh, course right from where you are in the institution of your learning then you have to, rely, to realize that uh, following the circular or following the directive from the PS which uh, came around uh, as from uh, September last year that is 2023 it is stipulates that all uh, courses which are offered in different institutions are to implement CBET curriculum. We started on this and majority of our trainers were trained on the same. So for any new trainer what will happen is that uh, if you go to the website CDAC uh, Tibet CDAC Council has put a lot of information on their website to assist anybody who would want to advance in uh, any skills concerning the implementation assessment of a, a CBET curriculum. So you go to the web browser, you may use Google Chrome. And once you go to Google Chrome, then you go to uh, you type uh, uh, CDAC or Tibet CDAC, Tibet CDAC, and uh, because we want to visit the website by default, it was Tibet CDAC exams. We shall have Tibet CDAC uh, home page, so we shall have the home page, and once uh, you open that. You go to the first, which is here. And this is where you find uh, the window, which uh, shows uh, a number of activities which uh, take place uh, in uh, on the portal of the Tibet CDAC. So to access the materials, you just go to where we have a uh, downloads and then from there you realize that uh, you have a number of materials that you can access from the website right from uh, with the first case the CEO recruitment may not be of a lot of uh, use to you as a trainer and uh, also the short listing but uh, if you look at uh, down here where we have circulars on implementation of Tibet CDAC, then this is where you are supposed to focus on right from the first circular, which was the directive from the, 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 the PS uh, uh, instructing that all Tibet institutions start offering CBET or competence based education and training uh, CBET model. So, in that case, once you are through with that, you also realize that. Uh, in case you are registering trainees for summative exams in uh, CDAC, then you come to this and through this you get the revised credits and then here you get uh, the, num uh, the charges as per the units. Of course, when it comes to the units, they are classified as basic units. Then we have also core units and we also have the common units. So they have different rates and the student is a the trainee is supposed to pay based on which unit 
uh, that trainee is registering. Then moving on to the same, you might notice that uh, we have also have uh, uh, the procedure of registration of trainees and all the integrated CEDA courses and this mostly will go to the trainees as a trainer you will be required to guide the trainees on how they register for uh, CDAC uh, summative ev evaluation and the other officer who is key here is the examinations officer in, 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 in the TVET institution assisted by the departmental examination officers who work uh, closely with him and so these are some of the details which will be required you see the animation number the institution, national ID number, full names as per the ID, due date uh, for assessment of the trainee by the council. And then again, we shall have registration of trainees in the Tibet CDAC portal, which of course will be guided by the examinations officer in that particular institution. Then uh, once we move on, uh, we have what we are calling competency-based assessment guidelines. Uh, these guidelines are to guide uh, the trainers on how they assess uh, the, their trainees during the formative uh, assessment. And in this case, we will notice that uh, this table here is of key importance. And in case you want to make it uh, Appear bigger, you notice that uh, in this case there is a waiting starting with the levels because we are training as per the levels. We have level 3, level 4, level 5, level 6. For level 3, the practical should take 80% and the theory should take 20%. And for level 2, and for level 4, sorry, the practical should carry 70% and the theory should take 30%. For level 5, uh, the practical will take 60% and the theory will take 40%. And then for level 6, uh, it is 50% for the practical and 50% for the theory. So, these are some of the ways you can set the questions. We have case studies, written assessment, all assessments are considered as theory assessments. And role plays, simulations, practical test demonstration, projects, presentations are considered as practical assessments. Uh, theory assessment and practical assessment are purely dependent on the nature of the unit because some of the units will call for case studies where for example you are not likely to uh, have that. So in that case uh, uh, we shall have all this information displayed for any trainer including the ones who are continuing and they did not get to understand exactly what was happening during the training. Then we have something which is very important here that we are supposed to know in as far as assessment is concerned and this is what we call the portfolio of evidence or in short the POE. And the components of the POE include but not limited to the following marked written scripts, written and oral assessment marks sheets uh, for each trainee, observation checklist, product checklist, evidence of oral questioning, video or audio clips, video photo clips of trainee working and or uh, products, assessment plans, and uh, signed and dated uh, feedback forms and internal verification reports, and uh, finally failed mentoring tools. Uh, principals are encouraged to conduct the undersigned re, uh, through this. Of course, the trainers will assist the principals to do what is required in the entire institution. Now, moving on, then uh, we shall uh, still go back and find that we have uh, what we are calling assessor or verifier registration process. You are a new trainer who has never been uh, involved in assessment of CDAC exams and this is where you come to. You are a new trainer or you have been teaching but you have never handled any 
uh, assessment which is dealing with a, a CBET and this is what will be required of you. And we are saying that the qualifications and uh, requirements for registration of an assessor are as follows. That assessor must be registered and licensed as a trainer by TVETA. And then he has relevant qualifications recognized by the council in the trade area of interest and has at least one level higher qualification in the course of interest. Then has been trained on competency-based assessment, for example. For those who are not trained, it means you have to make arrangements and of course you train or you, can, you either go to Kenya School of TVET and of course request for training or we can organize internally uh, on demand but of course this depends on the number of uh, trainers who uh, require this training. Then compiles with the Council Code of Conduct for Assessor and Verifiers and be a registered member of a professional body where applicable. For example, if you are an assessor in pharmacy, which is a regulated course, you must have registered with the pharmacy and poisons board. The same case to medical laboratory technology level six, you must have also registered with the board, uh, the board of the medical laboratory technologists. And uh, then uh, we have assessor or verification registration. In this case, we shall have uh, to register uh, the trainees or the, the assessor or verifier so that for future purposes you could be called upon to assess in various TVET centers. For now, I would wish to say that there is a lot you can get from the website of uh, TVET CIDAC, including learning guides. You can see all this, and of course, I beg to stop there. Thank you.